Ripper should be a fast and fun game. Too much officiating can be bad for players under seven. Before the game gets underway, check that all players have the belt and the two flags hang from both sides, one on each hip. The belt must be worn outside the clothing. We want shirts tucked in and flags free so they can be ripped off. Make sure you have a whistle. Know the laws and try to play advantage wherever possible. Shout pass when a rip has been made. Or maybe call out one, two, three, so the players know how many rips have been made. Blow the whistle when and only when play has to stop. To signal to the team who is starting with a free pass, point with an outstretched arm towards that team. When someone is ripped, the ripper stops, holds the flag above their head and shouts rip. The ball carrier must then pass the ball immediately. Within three strides is a good guideline. They do not stop, they do not return to the mark, and they do not roll the ball between their legs. After the ball carrier has passed the ball, the ripper must hand the flag back to that player. Use your judgment around offsides at this age and stage. It's about fun. Offsides only occur at the rip. When a rip is made, all players from the ripper's team must get back until they are behind where that rip was made. A try is awarded when the attacker presses the ball over the goal line. A try can also be awarded if the ball carrier is in the motion of scoring a try, even if they were ripped. Blow your whistle and celebrate the try. Running down the middle of the field is a good option for Ripper. You'll always be close to the action, but don't get too close so you're in the way. Use the on-field coaches to support your refereeing. Work as a team. Look, this is under seven Ripper rugby, not super rugby. Use your judgment to make sure the players on the field have the best day they can.